sing that. Yes, I know Jesus. Oh, I know the Lord. Yes, Lord. I know Jesus for myself. See, he woke me, he woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. He guides me on my guides journey. Guides me on my journey. Keeps me day by day.
There's some upright in heart folks up in here. <laughs> that you don't have to fight all your own battles sometimes we need God to fight them for us that's what we're going to sing about sorry about that
there's power in his name. If you need a healing in your body, come up here right now. Why? Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. If you need a healing in your mind, come on. If you need a healing in your spirit, come on right now. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. His name has the power to set the captive free today. Mighty God, I hope you're feeling one-tenth of what I feel in this house right now. There's power that's being loose right now. I need you to lay hands on some folks. Come on. Hallelujah.
in tongues. Doris is speaking in tongues right now. Hallelujah.
It's already done. It's already done. Oh, it's already done. It's already done. Thank you, Lord, for fulfilling. It's already done. Filling your word. It's already. It's already done. sister. Hallelujah. Now you belong to Jesus. You're a child of the King. You've traded filthy garments of sin for a robe of royalty. And those chains that used to bind you, they're now laying at your feet. You see, the devil can't make a lock that the Lord doesn't hold.
and down in my soul, and it's just like the Bible says. I got the Holy Ghost down in my soul, just like the Bible says. Sister Doris, I love you, sister, but besides Sister Doris, is there anybody in this house that received something from God today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Is there anybody that you know in your spirit? Maybe you, maybe you don't have confirmation, but you know in your spirit that you received a miracle from God today. Yeah. Go on and raise your hand. I want you to keep your hand up. I want you to look around right now at the miracles, the declarations of miracles that have been performed by God in this house today. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. If you wonder why some people just flat out forget who they are and where they are when they begin to worship God. If you, if you wonder why some people lose their composure when they begin to worship the Lord. We've got miracles happening right here, right now in this place. Hallelujah. We've got a reason. Come on, praise team. Go on.
to praise the Lord. So if you're waiting for an answered prayer, if you're waiting for a promise, it's his time, though. Yes. It's in his time. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I got to talk a little bit today about what the Holy Ghost is doing. I got to talk a little bit about my friend, Doris, that I call Tadpole. I've had a front row seat because they're, they're best friends. We're getting married on the same day, so that's probably evident. And it's God's time. It wasn't the day I thought it was supposed to be. Every single day that Lance thought it was supposed to be, Latricia, we all had a different schedule. But God, it's God's timing. It's God's timing. It had to be, it had to be today. So you know, Doris has some things coming up in her life. It's going to require the power of the Holy Ghost to get through some things that she has coming very soon. And I can't imagine going through what you're getting ready to go through without my Jesus and without the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I wanted the Holy Ghost for the reason of power more than anything else. I've confessed to that over and over and over again when Mother Morgan said, you want the power? Yeah, I want the power. You got the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He answers prayers in his time. So if you've got some unanswered prayers, if you've got some promises, hold on, hold on. And one more thing, there is something going on. There is something going on about reading the Bible. Reading the Bible is seeking God. It's wanting to hear from God. And maybe Tadpole Doris didn't make a decision. No matter what, I'm going to get the Holy Ghost no matter what. But I know firsthand what she did make a decision to do last week. With the four of us was a commitment to seek God and to read the Bible through. And this is day nine. This is day 10. Day 10. Right. And look what he did. Imagine. So she did make a decision between her. I'm going to seek you. I'm going to read the Bible for myself. And he answers. That's right. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's continue to worship with the praise team. I vow. Lord, I'm gonna praise you through the good yes. and through the bad. Yes. Lord, I'm gonna praise you whether I'm happy or I am sad I will praise you in all that I go through cause praise is what I do that's why I was created and I owe my life Lord, I owe my life, I owe my praise to you. Come on, sing this with us. Praise is what I do. Praise is what I do when I want to be close.
circumstance. It doesn't even stand a chance. Even stand a chance. Cause my prison, everything around them looked like desolation to them, because they were chained, they couldn't speak the name of Jesus because that's exactly why they were thrown in jail, and yet somewhere, somewhere deep in their soul, the light of dormant praise, sometimes your praise is a little dormant because of things going around. Because of things that you found yourself into, sometimes we place ourselves in situations. Sometimes it's because life just happens. Or maybe because God has placed us in a position to be tested and tried so we can be strengthened. But if you will remember when, if you'll remember when God answered your prayer before, you'll remember that He's going to answer again. And it's going to be right on time. Right on time. Because when Paul and Silas began to call from the depths of their being that dormant praise and began to shake it and began to wake it up and it began to bellow through their being from the bottom of their soul and began to work its way up through their mouth, the sound was so great in the spiritual heavenlies that it caused the chains to break off of everybody in the prison. It caused their chains to fall off. It caused the walls to drop around them and the doors to fling open. Praise not only builds a wall of protection around you, but it also provides a channel for God to work through. And it also makes the other walls fall. Praise Him in the dark times. Praise Him in the bright times. But just make sure you praise Him with everything that's within you, as David said.
closer to him and to pick up again some things that I had laid aside because life happens and sometimes to carry the heavy load you lay down the light load and how many of you know that his burden is light so I promised him that this month would be my consecration month as well not just for the church but for me because things take a toll and you start remembering the toll instead of what you have now I sent um, Julie an email a little message through Facebook the other day offering something to them and I said you know last year this time I had absolutely nothing I had nothing but a mattress in Box Springs. And this year, I have an abundance of some of those things. God has been good to me. And for me to forget and lay down some things that are required of me by Him and required in the Word, or at least ask of me in the Word of Him, doesn't make any sense to me at all. And I know he's probably scratched his head a few times saying, what gives? I gave so much, I give so much, and yet you don't do, you don't give, you don't this, you don't that, you don't follow. In the journey of life, there are all winding roads. Mountains high and valleys low. Though the road ahead may be unknown, I'm still focused on the prize that's worth fighting for. I will be what you've called me to be. I'll say yes, Lord, I agree. My desire passionately is to be.